Blah, 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 blah. Hi, everyone. Healthy Tarantano here, the Internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of this Bruiser Wolf album, My Story Got Stories. Here we have the second full-length LP from rapper and lyricist extraordinaire Bruiser Wolf, a Detroit native known to be one of the more recent additions to Danny Brown's Lucy Goosey Bruiser Brigade outfit, some of whom we haven't heard from in a minute, but they still seem to be operational on some level as a group. Still, it's an interesting interesting time for them to be bringing on new faces, especially Mr. Wolf here, who is a man of not just age, but also experience, with a pretty unlikely background with numerous articles floating around uh, referencing his history in landscaping and also uh, youth football coaching. He also dropped a full-length LP back in 2021 titled Dope Game Stupid, which didn't really stick with me as an entire record, but I can't deny that Bruiser Wolf came through with a standout delivery and an almost unparalleled sense of humor in today's rap game. His animated and expressive style pops on every track and feature I've ever heard him on, with this combination of rapping but also ranted one-liners uh, that's kind of akin to the work of E-40 or Mac Dre, even Curtis Blow, but he's also kind of in an idiosyncratic league of his own that makes him totally unlike a rapper, with a lot of his lines being filled with spaces as if he is pausing for comedic effect. And I actually could see a lot of his lines transitioning over uh, pretty cleanly to something like a stand-up routine. I mean, some of the bars on this thing are insane. What I have floating on the screen right now is really just the tip of the iceberg of what you will hear when you actually give this entire thing a spin. And there were numerous points where I was just caught off guard and was left laughing after he finished a bar. There are also elements to what Bruiser Wolf does that reminds me of greats like MF Doom in that he does deliver this truly grimy, underground, left-field sound that doesn't really seem all that concerned with commercial appeal. All these goofy Bruiser Brigade drops throughout some of the tracks feel like something Doom would do too. And as far as the production side of this LP goes, uh, Bruiser Wolf is riding a lot of these drumless or near drumless sample-based instrumentals that are pretty popular on the abstract hip-hop circuit on a, many a Griselda record too, which is kind of perfect for him because it does make his odd uh, delivery stand out that much more. Though I will say, not every production choice on this thing is perfect. Uh, for example, the beat on Holla at Ya Mans is quite cluttered, and I don't think complements uh, Wolf's flow all that well. Uh, the following Looney Tunes leaves him feeling kind of unsupported with how thin and quiet it is. And from here, I'll say, Bruiser's vibe is not going to be for everybody. He is not the most musical rapper out there, especially if you're comparing to some of these more pop centric guys out there. But I will say this, he does write some sticky and infectious raunchy hooks occasionally on these tracks uh, that feel akin to that of something off of like a, a booty house song. Even G's and Hustlers uh, feels like a pretty big Snoop Dogg callback too. The wild inflections he has on the chorus of crack cocaine uh, makes that hook stand out pretty well. And sometimes it's just the way he says stuff too, because uh, there is a certain kind of melody to the way that he modulates his voice when he's saying certain lines. If I could, I would. But the dope ain't good. These choruses, though, while they are good, they're not as prevalent as I think they could be. The last several tracks on the album, for example, are among some of the most unstructured on the entire record. The closer, as well, apparently is not trying to finish things off in an ambitious or all that personal of a way. I suppose I should also mention the features, which across the LP, are few and far between, but still solid. I would think it's hard to find artists that would actually pair with Bruiser Wolf well, because uh, not many lyricists out there have this level of eccentricity. Of course, a fellow Bruiser Brigade member, Z Loopers and Danny Brown makes sense. Trinidad James is a kind of an unexpected blast from the past, but that works. And also kudos to Stretch Money, who at the very least does reinforce the uh, dope game themes on the track that he appears on. Look, over Overall, with this LP, there's a lot of good songs, and undeniably, Bruiser Wolf has bars, and has style, and has a bold sense of humor. There is something that is uh, so instantaneously recognizable and memorable about him, and a lot of what he does. But a lot of the production choices don't feel super specific to him, and some of the songs, honestly, are a little underwritten, too. Not to mention, this isn't the best crafted album out there, either, as there's not much of a flow to speak of from track to track and 
uh, the start of the album is a lot stronger than the end, which doesn't even attempt to tie things up all that succinctly. I think this album in a lot of ways is an improvement, uh, certainly better than his debut, even if there is a lot of creative overlap there. Just hoping that the next record he drops is a bit more big picture, and that's it. I'm feeling a decent two strong seven on this one. Tran, Zishin, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like, please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, music of forever.